Hey cool cats and lazy dogs, today I'm sharing with you my review of the Canon 70-200 F4 IS Mark II as compared to the original F2.8 Mark I. Keep it locked. Perhaps my most favored working range, the 70-200 has been an inseparable part of my kit since I first got the F2.8 Mark I. When I originally bought the F2.8 Mark I, it was a game changer in how I approached my shots, and I found myself more comfortable at the telephoto range than at wide angles. For concert photography, this range is invaluable. In small and medium-sized venues, it makes a great portrait lens, and in larger venues, it gives the needed reach to get the shot. For documentary, live event, and manufacturing, it allows me to get close-ups of my subjects without interfering. And for time lapses, it gives me the ability to get the perfect composition in camera when my subject is too far away, so I don't lose quality by cropping in post-production. The original 2.8 has been with me all over the world, and for every type of shoot, and it has never let me down. Though versatile and great for low light, I was starting to reconsider the F2.8 when I noticed that my overall kit was getting heavier as more equipment was being added to the loadout. This eventually brought me to the Mark II of the F4 variant. Initially purchased as a lightweight supplement to my F2.8, the F4 has replaced the former in most scenarios. The F2.8 does feel much sturdier and likely to take a beating than the F4. It is also more than twice the weight at nearly 4 pounds versus the F4, which is under 2 pounds. The F4 is thinner and shorter than the F2.8 by about an inch either way, which is enough so that it more easily fits into camera bags. Though only F4 and letting in one stop of light less than the F2.8, I found that with most modern cameras, this is less of an issue than it was just a few years ago, especially with my Canon 1DX Mark II. The F2.8 does produce nicer, more circular bokeh compared to the more lemon-shaped bokeh of the F4, but at the range of 70 to 200, this is less significant in the final result than it would be in the 24 to 70 range. The autofocus is nimble and fast and hasn't let me down. In fact, I'd say it's faster and more accurate than my F2.8. The F4 works with tele-extenders, although due to its smaller aperture, it has limited autofocus points compared to my F2.8 when using the 2X extender. The F4 is sharper throughout the lens, especially when paired with my teleconverter, which I've noticed will cause a softer image when paired with the F2.8, which is exacerbated even more when an ND filter is added to the front. The image stabilization on both lenses are great, with the F4 taking the lead and performing extraordinarily well for handheld work. On the F4, Mode 1 corrects vibrations in all directions. Mode 2 corrects vertical when following horizontally, or horizontal shake when following vertically. And Mode 3 corrects shake during exposure. Most often, I am using Mode 1 for my work. Minimum focusing on the F4 is 3.28 feet, compared to the 2.8 F4.5 feet. And the focus and zoom rings operate more smoothly. Much like the older lens, the F4 does not have a proper hard end stop for manual focusing. There is a bump when reaching the end, but the ring will continue to spin. The F4 has a 72mm front filter thread compared to the 77mm on the F2.8, which isn't a big deal for me since most of my filters are 82mm adapted with a step-up ring. Although, this does mean that I cannot pair the lens hood with a filter attached, which can be problematic when time-lapsing or filming in overly bright or wet conditions. I do like Canon's new hood design for the F4 compared to the older hood design on the F2.8 Mark I, the new design just feels more sturdy. I can rest the lens vertically on the hood without worrying that it'll tip over. Additionally, I like the locking button on the side. The new lens cap is another improved design, easing installation and removal without fumbling, especially with the lens hood attached. If I'm doing dedicated wildlife work, I might bring the F2.8 for the additional autofocus points with the teleconverter, but only if there isn't a lot of hiking to the location due to its weight. I will bring my F2.8 when doing concert photography or other low-light scenarios with minimal foot transit time to and from the destination. But for all these reasons, the F4 has pretty much replaced my F2.8. Thanks for checking out my review of the Canon 70-200 F4 IS Mark II. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Alexander Calder Spinelli of Longbow Media, signing off. Catch you later, cool cats.